Okay, welcome. Today I'm going to be offering a little reflection about blame and just answer, asking the question, do you blame others for your problems or the challenges that you have in your life? Okay, so blame. So today I'd just like to make some reflections about blame. I can see in my own life how I have often blamed people and still to this day I have to catch myself or my wife will catch me you know when she's saying oh you're starting to blame others and she was offering reflection last night my wife just about how you know sometimes it's like working out what I've learned in a situation rather than seeing it as a bad kind of getting lost in the emotional content so if you find in your life, you know, stuff's happened, then what they've found in research nowadays is that often when we go into blame, then, you know, research has shown that our amygdalas, I think it's the amygdala, well, no, maybe it's not, it's some part of the brain starts to shrink um, and it gets smaller when we blame or we complain. The other thing is, is when we blame someone, it's like we get a little hit from that. It's like... Oh, yeah, we feel a little bit better, but research again has shown that it only lasts for about five seconds. So what happens when you only get a hit for five seconds? You do it again. It becomes addictive. So at the beginning, we start to catch ourselves about, you know, blaming others um, in our own minds, you know, and what we speak to others, what we post. And... You know, for me, noticing in my own life is like, I, I have to keep doing the inner work. And there are times when, you know, if I get stuck in blaming, then I like, oh, I don't want to do the work. But that's why we have to train ourselves. We have to train ourselves to do our daily practice. And I see with people that sometimes they struggle. You struggle with this daily practice. But the reason we do this is that we practice if we feel great. We practice if we don't feel very good. We practice if we've had a wonderful day. We practice if we, we've had a terrible day. We practice if uh, life's going amazing. We practice if someone has really done something terrible to us. Because, you know, the momentum that we, we, we kind of get from practicing, you know, and so what I mean by practice is we meditate. We have a daily practice. Maybe it's some laughter. Maybe it's some yoga. Uh, maybe it's breath work. Wim Hof, Pranayama, Kapalabhati, breath, things like that. We have a daily practice, which is half an hour or an hour. And we do this come rain or shine. So yesterday morning, I'd had a bit of a challenging day on Monday. And I woke up and it was like, oh, you know... I can't be bothered to practice. That was the feeling. So I just laid in my bed for about five minutes and then, boom, I started doing my breath work. At the moment, I'm doing some Wim Hof breathing in the morning, and then I do my meditation. And it was like, right, I then started to, to do the practice. And what happens is then I shift very quickly. I move from that, oh, you know, blaming or complaining oh, no, into feeling better. And that's what happens when we build up that mental strength that I'm going to practice no matter where I'm at, no matter what I'm feeling. So I have a few other reflections here. Um, yeah, and it's like I'm, I'm seeing a lot in the people around me. It's like that and with myself sometimes as I have certain areas I don't want to work on. And I see that with others people often don't want to do the inner work they just want to blame others who you know for what they've done to them or you know what's come into their life it's like they want to blame because they think that that's going to help but like research is showing no it doesn't it's like we have to do that inner work and to ask the question why have i drawn that to me why have i drawn that into my life what is that showing me about myself so maybe someone's been very angry at us and we realize, oh, actually, I still carry a lot of anger. 
and might not do it expressively by shouting at others, but maybe I'm kind of more passive aggressive. I kind of storm around silently. And it's like, ah, they're showing me my shadow. That enables me to start working on it. Um, so, yeah, any other things I was going to say? Yeah, so it's just keep coming back, focusing on the positive, focusing on what you're grateful for, and yeah, really noticing in your own self. When you start to blame, just catch. Ah, I'm blaming. Okay, do something different. Go for a walk, go for a run. It's like change your body, your shape, do something different. You know, it's like retraining, taking yourself into a different space. So, as always, if you have any questions, anything you'd like me to make a video on, or, you know, reflections, how have you found doing this has maybe started to make you feel different about yourself. So, many blessings, have a wonderful week, and I'll speak to you next Wednesday. Take care. Bye for now.